Hey guys, Jason from Now Fencing here. Today I'm going to take you through ordering materials for a treaded pine paling fence if you are deciding to do it yourself. When ordering materials for a treaded pine paling fence, you need to determine how many metres your fence line is. Let's use 15 metres as the example. So you're going to need to order enough materials to cover that amount. When you go to your local timber yard and you order the uh, fencing package, they will charge you on a per metre rate. But when you're ordering the materials, you can't just order 15 metres. You have to order per uh, bay size. Uh, a full bay is 5.4 metres because the spacing between posts is um, 2.7 metres. But a full bay with a full rail, full length rail, is 5.4. A half bay is 2.7 metres long, so your minimum order would be 2.7 metres of length of treaded pine paling fencing. To give you an example of what you would get in a treaded pine paling fence package, I'll use 5.4 metres as an example, as this is full length of rails and plinth. In that package, you will get two posts, whether it be cypress or hardwood, You'll get one plinth, this is a 150 by 25 millimeter plinth. You will get three treated pine paling, uh, treated pine paling fence rails, so that's 75 by 50 mil rails. You will get roughly 26 of the 150 mil palings, and then you'll get another 26 of the 100 mil palings that overlap. You'll also uh, individually buy your cement or concrete, however you choose. A lot of uh, fences here in Victoria typically use cement and dry ram when they're setting the posts and then add water afterwards. But if you wish to uh, use concrete, that's not a problem either. When I order my fencing packages, I like to get slightly longer posts for my my fencing. So if I'm getting the 1.95 meter high paling fence, instead of using the standard 2.4 meter posts, I like to get the 2.7 meter posts. Uh, that will give me a little bit of extra depth uh, of digging in the ground, as I, I don't think that a 2.4 just gives you that wiggle room that you need. Additionally, with your fencing package, you'll also need to order one additional post as a starter post. This will be your post that, that first starts, then you go 2.7, 5.4, and so on. So, if your fence line is 15 metres, you're going to have to order your starter post. Then, the amount you're going to have to order is 2.7, 5.4, 8.1, 10.8, 13 .8, 13 13.5, and then 16.2 metres is the number that you'll have to order. 16.2 meters will cover your 15 meter fence line. All right guys, well I hope that information has been helpful. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.